Want to catch more crappies this late winter into pre-spawn spring? You got to use some hover strolling techniques. This is freaking hot right now. It's catching me a lot of fish. Not just me, okay? It's also letting Kyoya Fujita, the prince of Japan, winning bass tournaments. He's uh, doing hover strolling and mid strolling and the specific technique, specific action that he is utilizing is the rolling effect. Now hover strolling, a lot of people don't use a rolling effect and they just use other techniques because it's really, really difficult to create this little roll right there unless you have the right plastic or the right rigging methods. But right now there is a new jig on the market that allows you to make this roll a lot easier. And this is from owner Cotiva, the range roller jig. This jig here is designed to roll unlike a traditional jig head. If you put the two together and you look at the shank of the jig, you can see that the range roller, the shank is a lot lower at the bottom and the traditional is pretty much centered at the jig ball. This will allow you to create a rolling effect if you were to take your rod tip and do a light jiggle. Not like a jerk, because the jerk would twitch your lure away, a jiggle of your rod. So if you were to cast this lure out there and you retrieve very, very slowly, you could jiggle or you could pendulate or you could be just like how a lot of people are doing right now, the Damiki rig fishing with front facing sonar and all you have to do is jiggle it and your lure will come to life with a rock and roll. Now when it comes to hover strolling, I love to use this brand right here, the Fish Arrow, and the specific one I use is Flash J, and I'll be using the two inch one, a smaller one, because in late winter, the water's still cold. Sometimes a lot of fish are short striking, so I am opting for the two inch version. This plastic is really cool because it is hollow, so it will sink a lot slower, which is gonna be the key of me fishing some of my shallow waters. And um, there is actually something even cooler. If you look very close to this plastic, there is a strip of mylar right inside. And when you make this thing roll, as you see, it creates a lot of flash, triggering a lot of fish to come closer, to investigate and trigger a bite. Now, once again, the key of getting a lot of strikes for late winter when the water's still cold is the slow falling action and also some of the uh, rock and roll. To ensure that your lure drops slow, especially if you're fishing some of the shallow areas, I am using 0.3 grams. Now, if the fish are deeper or the fish are more active and I can fish a lot faster, I'll opt for the 0.9 gram. So let me show you exactly how hot this bait is. Let's go. All right, folks, I am gonna use the 0.3 gram. So this is a lot lighter and I'm actually gonna use even lighter uh, flash J. So yeah, we're gonna be sinking a little bit slower and this allows me to uh, finesse a little bit better and hopefully I don't catch all the algae that's in the bottom. All right, I'm gonna rig this live. As y'all see, this is gonna be rigged pretty much on the top, okay? Just like the other one. And I need to come out right there. So, high as possible. And I saw that little speck somewhere like right around here. Oh no, I'm off a little bit. Back it out just a little bit and boop, there we go. The key of getting a good, good row is that you gotta get as straight as possible and get it out right hole so that everything is straight, okay? You gotta get everything straight, so this should be good. But let me just pull this up and I'm gonna put it on the side for a second. Ah, uh, I think slow. Yeah, see this? See my rod tip? I'm jig jiggling very, very lightly and it is rolling, okay? It does a little bit darting, I guess. Let me move a little bit more, see what happens. Yeah, it darts a little bit just like a core tackle. I guess that's the nature of using jigs, right? And versus uh, the nail weight. The nail weight, the weight is at the belly. So it actually keeps it down more. So rather than, you know, um, uh, twitching, you know, darting left and right. Um, so yeah, there's definitely trade off using any of these jigs versus the traditional style. And um, for convenience, I say the range roller is nice. A lot of wind now. <laughs> Got him. Oh yeah. Range roller. Slabbing. Slabbing. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. All right, off it goes. 
Bye, Crappy. All right. Hang on just a little bit more. You know, I don't even need to do much with this slow sinking jig. All I do is reel it in. That's a fish right there. It just tapped me. It sinks so slow. This 0.3 gram jig sinks so freaking slow. We got wind here, so it's gonna be tough. So I'm gonna see if I can, you know, turn back around, cast with the room, uh, with the wind. And um, I should, probably should have turned the other way. I don't wanna spook everything. But I'm just gonna jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. That was a freaking good fish. Like it just went that way. What was that? <laughs> like when I set the hook right there, like, I don't know, maybe it was just like at the edge of his mouth or something. But dang, I'm so sad, but here's another fish. It's okay. <laughs> you lose one, you get another one. Lose one, get another one. All right. Off you go, crappy. That's another fish right there. What? He's flying. Dude. Dude. Crappy galore. All right, that was a good thumbnail. Time to chuck that guy and let's keep fishing. All right, I'm going to open water for a second as I paddle out. But that was a lot of fish out there. We have a channel right here. Uh, although it's going that way, I hope there's still some fish. Oh, that's fish. Oh yeah. Dude, they're everywhere now. It's stacked here. This is so much fun. Whee! All right, more crappies. All right, there it goes. The Flash J, Range Roll Jig. Let's go. Oh man, this is so awesome. All right, let me poke you out. See this? Unhook them tool. You find the top of the jig, Oop, pop it out. Bam, peace out. Oh, that was a tap. Oh, that's a tap again. Oh, he ran for it. It's a little perch. Woot. All right. Hey, hey, little guy. Little guy? You're probably a guy, right? And... Oh, my bad. <laughs> I double hooked him. All right, tiny little guy, hungry. Off he goes. fish oh that's a fat one oh my gosh oh my gosh yeah. going all over the place yeah hey hey easy easy broski squeeze pull done I mean look at that awesome awesome finish color all right off you go dude peace out 
Hey. Is that Swan? You didn't realize I was here? Come on now. Spooking everything. Fish. Oh my gosh. I was throwing that shad fries on a jig, 116th ounce, and I'm not catching anything. Oh, I got a mama. Netting this one. Oh my gosh. This is great. This is probably the biggest one of the day. Oh my gosh, look at that. Humongous. Humongous. Look at that. Oh my gosh, what a beauty. What a beauty. All right, off you go, big perch. Lay a lot of eggs, mama. Woo! All right, so I went two casts, right, with algae on my hover strolling rig just to see if a uh, fish will bite. The answer is no. Clean off your jigs. Clean off your hover strolling rigs. Clean everything off, all right? And uh, cast it back out there, and you'll catch fish. What? Dude. That was supposed to just be a, a lesson, right? And uh, <laughs> and I caught a fish. It, it's a, holy crap. You guys did not just see that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So there was actually another, either a big crappy or a big freaking bass that came up to this freaking slab. Look at this. Look at this freaking slab. Ah, yeah, I'm tangled. Let me untangle them. This is a mondo. Look at that. That is a beast. This is so awesome, man. So awesome. All right, well, off you go, big slab. Woo! As you see, the new Range Rover jig from owner, Cultiva, is catching a lot of fish, and literally a lot of fish. I'm out there, and pretty much anything that eat bait fish will bite, like bass, pickerels, and of course, as you saw, jumbo yellow perch. You can get these jigs and plastics at Bait Finesse Empires. I left a link in the description below. Stay tuned for more crappy fishing and hover strolling and get your gears ASAP because the fish don't wait. Spring sales are already on picking up and these are going fast off the shelf. So get on it.